Okay, so let's go through what's coming up on the horizon. So first off, in June, there's a lot more coming even in July, but this is just to show you what's uh, on the horizon for June. And it's gonna be going long, the S&P 500. So you can see here, this is all the different things that are coming up in June. Well, a lot of these have already come and gone, but you can see natural gas. So these are ones that are still open. So you can see right now we've got, if you like Canadian dollar, you know, to go long that, but the one that's coming up, this is gonna be coming up pretty soon in the next week. This is where the cycle model is so important. So this based on marking it on pure seasonality, you'd be going long the S&P 500 on the 27th of June and then staying with it until the 23rd of July. So it's been a winning trade 15 out of 15 years. Okay, so that's coming up, but the markets are kind of getting a little bit of a pullback. So you wanna be able to time it better. And then, so if you look and drill down into the stats, you can see going back all the way to 2008, this has uh, been a winning trade every year. So it's been a winning trade, 15 out of 15 years, average profit, $73. That's on a futures contract, but we can do SPY, we can use SPX. So we've got a lot of different other ways that we can do the trade. And that's what I'll be teaching you in the course, how to do the trade different ways using options, and then also doing spreads using option pairs. Okay, so then here's where we are currently. You can see the cycle. This is the S&P continuation chart here. You see that very strong trend pushing up into the July period here. Here's going back on a kind of, a, you can see the sequence here. So you can see here is back in 2018. Up she goes, 2019, 2020, 2021. 2022, even with the huge down, down, this is where it caught to the upside. And then here's where we currently are coming in right there. So we're getting a pullback. So you want to be able to time the entry or you could do it strictly on seasonality, but that makes it a little bit sometimes maybe trickier because you might, you know, have to go through some equity drawdown. So here it is coming up. So you can see the blue is what it's the seasonal tr cycle. And here we are currently right there. So, you know, it could pull back and then go up. So that's potential. Now here's currently, if you look back over the last three years, this is uh, kind of giving you another overview here. So you can see here is where the seasonal, seasonal entry was right here. The power cycle trading model entry would have been right here when the momentum shifted. So pretty close. The seasonal entry would have been here in the last, in 2021 was right about here. The, um, oh, actually I got, let me back up. This is uh, showing the entry and the exit just seasonally. I didn't put in the trading model. So the seasonal entry would have been right here, would have been out right there. Seasonal entry would have been in here, been out right there. So you can see that these were, you know, winning years. I just kind of wanted to throw that out there too. And then here's kind of where we currently are. We're currently, you know, having this pullback. So we know the seasonal trend has a high probability. So the key is to catch the wave at the optimum time. So that's what we're going to be going through in the course, how to, you know, really uh, uh, optimize that entry using our cycle model with momentum. Now, also, you can see here, these are some more stats that I have. This is going back uh, to 2019 to 2023. You can see that if you were to buy SPY over the last four years, uh, it's been 100% uh, winning trade. So percent of months in which SPY closed higher than it opened from 2019 to 2023 has been 